Hello everyone, Hello. I'm Kat. I'm Rebecca. And today we're going to be doing some resin. We've Ooh. got our gloves, like masks we'll put on before we start working. We already mixed it, it's sitting over there. Out of the way. Um, so we're gonna try the Petri effect. Um, we've done it before, but I wanted to try again. So we're gonna use these molds. These are the molds we use for our um, foam grips and magnets. Um, this one I had leftover gold from another project, so I'm just gonna add to that. And um, we'll see how everything comes out. Yay. So we'll just um, stop it here and then sh move the camera down so you can see. <laughs> So, we'll see you in a bit. So, getting my glove on. Be sure to always wear masks and gloves when using resin. And keep uh, use it in a well-ventilated area with windows open. Yep. So, what we're gonna do, wipe this off, wipe this off. Baby wipes are your friend. Baby wipes and paper towels are good things to have on hand. So we're using this resin. We got it from Hobby Lobby. You can also get it from Amazon. Um, it's just our go-to resin because it's what was available at Hobby Lobby. And we'll we try other types of resin in the future, but this is what we have for now. So I'm gonna go ahead and pour some of this in this one. You don't want to fill it completely. You want space for the inks to flow in. We've got all of our inks that we're gonna use right here. We'll show you which colors we're using as we use them. That's cute. Them. Okay, so I'm a big pink and black combination fan. So I'm gonna take the magenta and the black for sure. And I'm gonna just do, actually I think I'm just gonna do magenta in this butterfly, or butterfly, in this wing mm -hmm. one. And then I'm just gonna go ahead and do the white real quick on that one. Mm -hmm. I think I'm just gonna use the green on the special leaf. It's grass green. <laughs> <laughs> and make sure you're using sinking white. We've used regular white before, but it didn't work. Sinking white works better. Um, and then do another round of this. I'm gonna do a okay. Some of these inks do not smell the greatest, so pink in that one. Just grabbing the white. And the white on the back. This one. Okay. I'm gonna do 
one gel of black right in here. That overtook it a lot. <laughs> I'll do the black here. Okay. Okay. White. Then I'm gonna do a blue. The phthalo blue. Yeah, phthalo blue here. drops I don't think. You need to do two drops of the color. To one drop of the white. There we go. The flower one I'm gonna use rose red. Oops, I don't know if you can see the color, but there's the color. Okay. Now I need to add another layer of white to this one as I um, did it before. In most of these, put the purple in with the rose red, the violet. Although honestly, I'm kind of already liking the way this lotus is working. Uh, we'll see. We'll see. We'll see. Um, be careful with these alcohol inks because they will stain surfaces so if you don't want something stained wipe it right away mm -hmm. and be sure to wipe out your mixing cups wipe off your mixing sticks right away Oop. Oop. just to keep them working in well in working condition as long as possible these clothes aren't the easiest to use because the fingers are too long all right, now for the last layer of white on here. And then, I'll just let it do its thing. Ugh. And it takes about 24 hours to set completely, depending on the day. Depending on the Temperature, humidity, humidity um, the size of the mold. Right. Um, so we're going to let these cure up and we will see you when they're ready to be demolded. Yay. Hello. Hello. It is the next morning. It is, it's been almost 16 hours. And uh, these are ready to go. You can tell because of this and this. Okay, so we're gonna demold these and see what they look like. We'll show you as they come out of the molds one at a time. Let's start with this. 
Sorry about the noise, we have the windows open and it's a Saturday morning, so lots of activity. Ooh. It looks pretty. It looks sparkly from the back. We're gonna put a uh, clear resin in the backs of these to dome so, them. Because they're um, we're not gonna put that on camera though. We will share photos on the Instagram once they're done. So Insta. follow us at Bricks and Mordor. Okay, let's do the lotus. There's some air bubbles, but it looks pretty cool. Doesn't look like pink and black, it looks purple. Purple. But I think I'm going to put um, gold paint or silver paint in the middle there to get the Blind. details. Mm -hmm. Mermaid tail. This one always has air bubbles. No matter how hard we try. See the little scaly detail. And butterfly. I think the black and the purple are like overtaking everything. So next time maybe I won't use the black, the darker color. The flower. Again, I'm gonna put gold or something in the middle. Details. But I mean, they look okay. There's a little bit of mm -hmm. um, petri effect going on there. I just spit all over it. Well, that Ew. one's. Whoa. That one's mine. All <laughs> right. My turn. I'm going to do the specialty first. Oh, there's a, a good one. Specialty first. The white one. The white sunk, yeah. That's just the white sinking. <laughs> it looks cool. I don't know if you can see very well, but it's a special leaf. It's illegal here in Wisconsin. It's grass. See, it's grass. No, it's a maple leaf. <laughs> All right, next we got the flower. That looks more pink and black on the back. Oh, it's just red. I just used rose red. I know, but it looks pink. I'll give that one. We'll probably have to fill in the details because you can't really tell. Like, yeah, all of these, ways. all of these need filling in. Well, not this one. This one's fine because it's just wings. All right, this next one. The one that says love with the paw print as the O. See it? We'll fill that in so you can see it better. But... Just uh, do this. There it is. There you go. Okay. And then this one's plain, so it doesn't Just have the any. The plain disc. That looks cool. That. I don't know how well you can see it. Maybe if you angle it to the sides, maybe? I don't know. It's very hard to catch details in an iPhone camera, but that's all we have. It's just cool. This one looks pretty cute. Yeah, don't mind with the bags under my eyes. Someone decided to get my cat a new toy that has catnip in it, and she decided mm -hmm. in the middle of the night, I'm gonna play with this catnip all over the room because I, uh, I closed the door with her in the room with me at night. Yeah. Anyway, so she was chasing that all over the room and I have an empty bottle, empty water bottle in there that she found and decided to chase that all over the room too. So, anyway. Yay. Uh, so that's it for today. Uh, if there's other resin uh, techniques you want us to try out, let us know in the comments below. 
Um, if you want to see more resin for us, from us, don't forget to hit this like button so we know you like it. Uh, subscribe like it. for more. Subscribe. Hit the notification bell so you know when we upload. Ding ding. <laughs> and we'll see you in the next video. Until next time, thanks so much for watching. Bye. Bye.